Hello, my name is Greg Bem, and I'm one of the librarians at Spokane Community College. And in this video, I'm going to show you Elicit. Elicit is a research-driven generative AI tool, and it's designed to create small bibliographies of sources, often research papers and research sources, based on your prompt. So here we are at elicit.com. We are logged in. Top of the screen, we have the main illicit link. We have a section for notebooks and a library. You can think of the notebooks as threads and the library as your overall history. An upgrade button, a help button for getting more information about illicit. Account settings. You can see that there are plenty of credits that you can use in this. And then you have the ability to find papers by asking a research question. And each question takes about 100 to 120 credits. So despite having nearly 5,000 credits with my account, there are, I don't know, not an infinite number of ways that I can use my credits before I run out. I can also uh, extract data from PDFs. And I can generate a list of concepts across papers which could be useful for essentially identifying subject terms and building out a research plan through different vocabulary. Notice that list of concepts takes significantly more credits to create. Uh, PDF data extraction, I'm not sure. And beneath the prompts, you have your recent notebooks. So let's simply ask for a research question. Um, Uh, what are some contemporary examples of concrete poetry? Now, that might not be a great research question, but it is certainly a question that is uh, thinking about research <laughs> or needing some research to get to uh, where we want to be. Now, how Elicit works is it looks across a variety of papers and sources and will summarize the sources that it deems most relevant. Now it does so with four papers by default. If you upgrade, you can get eight papers. And it actually creates an abstract based on the research question. And that abstract is written with generative language. And in this case, we have um, an introduction. We have a variety of sentences that all have their own citations. And if we scroll down, we can see exactly what it was looking at. So if we go back up, we can see that we had Thomas 2019, Karasfi 2016, Hunt and Kasser 2016, and Saeed 2021. Those were the four papers it found. And then here it lists not only the papers it used, which are listed at the top, but also additional papers below. And the great thing about Licit is that it links to the actual papers, provides the DOIs. Um, you can also manage the columns in the research by adding um, additional fields, so like summary, main findings, methodology. This would essentially give you a spreadsheet of all of these sources that Elicit found for you. And there are many, 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 many wonderful columns to add. And you can add many more sources. If we click on one, it will open it up and it will actually show a snapshot of some of the text that it looked at. And we can go into Semantic Scholar, which is another Gen AI tool, or we can go uh, copy the DOI and search for the source. Down below, we also have the ability to add a new step. And that will allow us to 
ask a new question and find papers, extract data from uploaded papers, get a list of concepts. And then if we had a plus account, we could do additional functionality. When we select the papers that have been provided to us, we also get additional functionality. Finally, you can sort the sources. You can use filters to filter the sources. And if you had plus account, you could export the sources to a variety of <clears throat> formats, including CSV. That is elicited in a nutshell. If you have any questions, reach out to the Spokane librarians and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.